All right, watersheds, watersheds. Watersheds are uh, pretty fundamental. It's a pretty um, you know, basic concept in the study of hydrology. We need to learn how to identify or delineate a watershed. And uh, watersheds are important because they show us um, a region of land that has um, some type of water in it, whether it be streams, rivers, um, all that sort of stuff. And basically, this water within this watershed um, will flow to a given point. So uh, what what is a watershed? What is a watershed? A watershed is basically an area of land. And within this area, there's different streams, uh, tributaries, rivers that all flow to a certain point. In this case, I'm going to call this point right here an outlet. Okay, and naturally these watersheds are bounded by high points and ridges. High points being the tips of hills and mountains and um, the ridges being what connects those high points together to form this natural boundary. Um, so really a watershed is an area of land that drains water to a, a certain outlet and usually watersheds are uh, bounded by uh, mountains, hills, ridges, and high points. All right, so that's kind of the definition of a watershed. Uh, we need to learn how to delineate a watershed. Delineate basically identify the watershed on a topography map. Topography map. There's a Y there. Topography map. What is a topography map? Well, this is a topography map. A topography map basically shows different, all these lots of crazy looking lines and each one of these lines represents a certain elevation. So pretend you are a bird and you're flying over a piece of land and you look down and well if you saw a bunch of lines on the ground you should be freaked out but pretend the birds flying and it's looking down and when they look down you see all these different lines well if we were talking about 2d everything would look the same but these lines really depict a, a 3d a region on a 2d map so these lines all represent a certain elevation so we have and there's numbers on these maps that say what elevation are each of these lines so in this case this line right here this line right here roughly that is uh, elevation of 5,000 5,000 feet um, this line right here this line right here is at an elevation of 5,400 feet and this line right here is at an elevation of 5,200 feet now what's what's cool about these topography maps is that they tell us uh, what is a, a ridge, what is a mountain, uh, what are the high points. And in order to read these, we need to carefully examine um, these different lines. Okay, Now these lines tell us an elevation. So I, I drew this first purple line, this 5,000 line right here. Actually, uh, you can't read that. Um, let's do it in red. This is a 5,000 elevation, 5,000 foot elevation line, meaning every point along this line has an elevation of 5,000 feet. And then this line right here is 5,400, 5,400 feet. This line right here is uh, 5,200. So we know that this line is bigger than this line, and both of these lines are bigger than this line. So that must mean that this line has a higher elevation than this line and this line has a higher elevation than this line so that must mean this is actually a, a slope the side of a mountain and if you were to fall off a trail you'd go straight down this way and you'd probably keep going this way until you hit this river and then you float away so a topography map is important um, in watershed delineation and in hydrology because we can use it to identify uh, a watershed. Now, 
before we actually jump into this topography map and trying and we try to identify the watershed or the natural boundary that surrounds uh, these rivers that flow to a common out or outlet we need to uh, learn the difference between a ridge and a valley and we can use this uh, or we can do this using uh, a topography map so the first thing in delineating a watershed is to uh, figure out what the difference is between a ridge and a valley um, I will actually continue that in the next video I'm gonna I wanna have a video where it's just an example on how to identify the difference between a ridge and the valley so see you then